Hey guys, it is finally time to learn how to mod BTD6. This is the start of a modding tutorial series on everything it takes to mod BTD6 and make some really awesome mods. This is mainly going to be an introduction video where I explain what this tutorial series is going to be about and I'll give you guys the structure of it as well. The goal is to try to give you guys a little guidance basically. So for starters, what can we do with BTD6 modding? Well right now we can do whatever we want. We've literally got access to all of the game's code, and we can change everything. So the way I plan on doing this tutorial series is I want to first teach you guys how to install the necessary programs you need to use to make these kinds of mods. After we get all the uh, necessary programs installed, we're going to learn how to make simple BTD6 mods. And most of the videos are going to be covered by using our API, which is basically a program we made to make modding BTD6 easier. Our API is mainly filled with a bunch of shortcuts that you can use to skip what would normally take a long time. But don't worry too much, I will make sure to cover how you can do some of that extra stuff, just so if you wanted to do it on your own, you would learn how to. Now, if you're wondering what the current state of BTD6 modding is, you have to do actual computer programming. It's not like BTD5 or BTD Battles modding, at least right now, where you can just change a couple values, like, you know, how much a tower costs. You have to do a little more work with BTD6 modding in its current state. That's why I'm gonna do my best to teach you guys exactly every step involved so you guys can learn and have like an understanding, a deep understanding of what you need to do and how you can do it so you can make high quality mods for BTD6. So like I said, this is in computer programming. So the programming language that you're gonna be using to make these mods is called C Sharp. I will be covering the basics of C Sharp in a getting started video, and I'll try to explain things throughout the tutorials. But for the most part, I'm gonna breeze through that because I don't want to waste everybody's time on some of those basics. So if you have any trouble after that extra information, you guys should watch a C Sharp tutorial series. I'll make sure to include one in the description so you guys have something to look at. We do plan on adding support for jet modding in the future. So when that happens, I'll make sure to add a comment to this video and I'll pin it to the top of the comments section. That way you guys can find it easier. So I don't know when you guys are gonna watch this video, but whenever you do watch it, check the comments section and see if I have any comments pinned at the top because that will be linked to some of the newer, easier ways to make mods. But that is pretty much it for the introduction of this tutorial series. Um, in the next video, we're gonna get straight into it and learn how to install all the files we need for BCD6 modding. See you guys there.